What's up cooks? It's Wednesday. Thank you for joining me in the Amy Learns to Cook kitchen. Today, we're going to do a little day in the kitchen. I'm doing a little cooking. We're going to be making my famous stuffed bell peppers. We're also going to be making a pound cake and we're going to turn that into some strawberry shortcake. And um, I'm cutting up a bunch of fruit. I got some fruit and I wanted to make kind of a mixed fruit salad. So join me. It's Wednesday. What's up? So I have some flour, baking powder, salt in my original baby. <laughs> this is my five quart uh, mixer. So I put some butter in there and some wet ingredients. Scrape it real quick. Give it a final mix. It's ready for the pan. So I buttered this little loaf pan here. And let me clean off the paddle here so we can get all that goodness going on. Get all that off of there. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this around. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. So I bought this little kitchen egg egg cutter. We will see how it does on strawberries. I took my strawberries, I cut the tops off, and I gave them a nice wash. So I kinda of wanna cut them this way. Let's see what this thing can do. Ooh, nice, look at that. Ooh, it did a great job. So these things will cut more than just egg. It'll also cut strawberries and mushrooms. Awesome. This is gonna make it so much faster than me trying to cut these by hand. I like it. So I'm gonna finish cutting these up. I have some other fruit to cut up. We're gonna be cutting up a melons. That's for something separate. And um, then we'll macerate these strawberries. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up a honeydew here. I rinsed it. Um, I guess I'm making a little melon fruit salad. <laughs> We got honeydew and cantaloupe. So do I have the perfect way to cut this up? Not really. And I'm basically going to peel it. I'm going to slice it. and chunk it. You can cut these as big as small as you like. Kind of one fork size. And now we're gonna Cut up a cantaloupe. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a bad part. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that off. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that was what was sitting on the ground. Just wanna 
go ahead and peel it. And we're gonna do the same thing. So the pound cake just came out of the oven. I'm gonna let it sit here for about 10 minutes before I get it out of the pan. So we're just gonna really cook, stir up our little melon salad here. Um, I don't know if we're gonna eat any of this today. Maybe we will, um, but we'll be eating this over the next couple days. I'm also gonna macerate the strawberries and all that is is putting some sugar on it. It's gonna bring out that wonderful strawberry flavor. These aren't super sweet strawberries. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> How much you put on really depends on how many strawberries you have and how sweet they are. I usually just dump them on. Then I'm gonna cover this and put it in the refrigerator. These are gonna sweeten up. Okay, so I got the pound cake out of the pan. It did rise in the middle. I'm working on the recipe. Um, I'm playing around with some things so I haven't perfected it. It smells good though. I also have some water on so I can make some iced tea. So we're doing a modified version of my stuffed bell peppers. I'm making the rice in the Instant Pot. I have it on, I'm turning it on saute. We're gonna go ahead and put, we're gonna go ahead and put a little olive oil in here. And I have a medium onion that we're gonna be sauteing with some garlic first. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our onion in here and I'm gonna saute this until it's translucent. Okay, our onions are looking pretty good. I'm gonna put some garlic here. So some people ask why am I using my Instant Pot on the cooktop? Because people have burned out the bottom of their Instant Pots. My cooktop, like our other house, is a GE Profile and it has a cutoff switch. So unless your cooktop has a cutoff switch and it's in fact off, <laughs> I wouldn't do this on your cooktop because so many people do accidentally turn on a burner and boom, there goes their Instant Pot. Here's two cuts of jasmine rice. I rinsed it really well to get off that extra starch. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute this for a few minutes brown it a little bit to bring out that nutty flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in a can of fire roasted green chilies. Oh, that was two cups of rice. So I'm doing two cups of rice and two cups of chicken broth because the Instant Pot, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm not gonna put any salt because I'm using chicken broth, but I am gonna put some granulated garlic. And I never measure. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of my favorite chili powder and cumin. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. And we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And I'm gonna put it on the rice cycle and I'm gonna hit start and we're just gonna let it run and when it's done, we're gonna do a natural release for 10 minutes and then manual release the pressure. So when it's done, we'll be back. Okay, so I'm cooking up a little ground turkey. I'm using the Balti on this little gas burner. I love this thing. Seems like half the time I'm using this instead of my cooktop. But, so this is almost done. We're waiting on the rice and then we will stuff the peppers. Okay, they're out of the oven and they look fantastic. I like that little crispy part right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, these look amazing. So we're gonna have these, we're gonna have a little pound cake with strawberries. Do you want whipped cream on that, boo? As long as it doesn't end up on my face. Okay. So let me plate this up and we'll be back. So we're each just gonna eat one pepper. Um, I think we're gonna be full after that because we have this. Nah. The pound cake with the strawberries. Nah. 
I think this is the this is the fruit, the vegetable, everything. Mm -hmm. I think by the time we eat this, we'll both be full. Mm -hmm.